Metal Jeff here. I just wanted to show you guys what I got going now. Um, in order to get a bunch of precise cuts for uh, various projects I have, such as the mutation build, I decided to go ahead and get a CNC. So I ended up going with the Shapoko 3 made by Carbide 3D uh, for a few different reasons. Mainly being that the extrusion on this thing is big, fat, beefy stuff, and uh, it's uh, going to hold up a lot better than the thinner, like a maker slide stuff. So, they advertise that they can uh, cut aluminum with this thing no problem and uh, other soft metals like copper. And that's why I ended up going this route. On my Instagram or Twitter, you might have seen some pictures of this thing a couple months ago. I actually got it back then and uh, set it up and assembled it and everything and ran a few uh, Hello World tests, but I've been so busy that I haven't really been able to do any actual cuts with it yet. So the goal is to change that. Another thing that I needed to get in place was a PC to send G-code to this the CNC machine because I didn't really I don't really want to tie up my rendering PC with CNC jobs just in case I have to do some editing work. Um, so I ended up digging through all my parts bin and actually came out with a full PC. I was able to find an HX 1050, 8 gigs of HyperX memory, uh, 128 gig Agility 3 SSD, uh, GTX 570 Direct CU2, Corsair H70 cooler, and a stack of Noctua fans. The heart of the system is going to be an AMD Phenom 2 955 CPU. And that's going to be running in a Gigabyte 790XTA UD4 motherboard. And that system is going to be house in my old Fractal Design Archimede R2 case. I'm actually kind of excited to get this old build out and put it together because it's really capable of handling everything that I'm going to be throwing at it, which is just sending G code to a CNC machine. So I'm thrilled that I was able to pull out some old hardware that's just taking up space and actually put it back to use. And I'm also thrilled to have an AMD system in the house again. In order to get it up and running, I actually had to make a permanent home for it. And so I built this workbench out of MDF and 2x4s, and uh, it's pretty sturdy. It's got a lot of room for all my tools and stuff on the bottom shelf, and uh, fits the CNC very nicely. So I ended up building a shelf into this closet for the computer. Did the design and sketch up, and then kind of just cut them by hand. but I uh, pretty much threw this cover together because it's just a way to, to block chips from flying everywhere. And I'll probably end up making a nicer one out of like 80-20 extrusion in plexiglass in the future so that I can see it from other angles besides just the front. Basically, I have the desktop here. The monitor is hanging from a wall mount, or it's actually a desk mount hanging upside down from the shelf. I uh, just have a keyboard and mouse set up, and I have this this keyboard so I can actually control stuff while looking at the CNC machine. And there's also a ASUS router back here just set in repeater mode, just basically picking up the wireless signal and sending it to this computer here and some of the other, like my receiver and the office and stuff. I have a few more things to do before I have this thing machine ready, but I'm getting there. and. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to start cutting parts within the next week. So my idea is to kind of create another series of videos focused around the Shapeoko, and I've, I already have a bunch of projects in the works. Uh, the first being parts for my mutation build, but I already have a few interesting ideas to work on. You know, I want to make, um, I think I want to revamp my camera slider, make a bunch of the parts that have kind of worn out on that, and uh, we'll just go from there. And uh, I'm, it's going to be a big learning process. I'm sure I'm going to learn a ton of stuff and progressively get better as I machine more and more.
you guys know some good software for me to check out, uh, please do leave it in the comment. Uh, like I said, this is really my first uh, venture into CNC machining, and I got a lot to learn. So, uh, any help from the community is appreciated. Um, thanks so much for watching, and like I said before, I'm going to try to get some more regular videos out for you. So, thanks a lot, and I'll check back in later. Adios.